how do you know what is wrong with pool water? The answer to that is twofold. One, you have to test the water, and two, you gotta know what to do with it once you test the water. To summarize here, nobody can look at swimming pool water and know what's wrong with it. There's a lot of people that would like to tell you that they can. Oh, I can tell when my pool's off just by looking. They can't. They can't tell the pH of the water by looking at it, and they're lying to themselves and you if they think they can't. So the way that you find out what's going on in the water is you test it. You test it with a test strip for your easiest, most convenient, least accurate accurate method of testing, or ideally having like the little red and yellow liquid droppers that look like little food coloring droppers. Those are actually a really accurate way to test your swimming pool water at home, something I highly endorse. Taylor Technologies is the gold standard for testing kits like that. So I endorse that you get one of those and you learn how to do your testing at home. They actually have a great website resource for that as well where they sell you the test kit, but then they have a ton of videos that teaches you how to use every single part of that test kit, which can test every possible thing you could ever need to know about your pool water. But let's say you're not looking to take on a new science project hobby. Go down to your local pool and spa store with a water sample. Very likely they will offer free water testing for you. They'll do a detailed analysis of your water, do a write-up, and then give you a bunch of recommendations and the stuff that you need to buy. And if you don't feel or if you feel pressured into buying a bunch of stuff you don't want to buy you don't have to buy it you can just do the water test you can arm yourself with this information you can learn about what's going on in your water because there's a bunch of individual things that we need to look at yes you know that you need chlorine in your pool but it's more complicated there's free chlorine and then there's combined chlorine. So like, I mean, right away, that those are a couple of different things. And then we have the pH and the total alkalinity. And those two things are kind of related. They kind of move hand in hand, but they are in fact different things. And calcium hardness and phosphates and a couple of other things that you're going to need to know. Um, I'll include in the description, if you go to the description of this video, there will be a link to a crash course that I wrote on swimming pool chemistry. Uh, it used to be 10 minutes long to, to go through it, but I added a bunch of videos that kind of add more content to it. So now it, it technically takes longer than 10 minutes if you consume all the content. But if you just read the information on the page, it's about 10 minutes to get through it all. It will teach you the bare bones of water chemistry of what you need to know right now, but it'll also show you, show you kind of like the chronological order that you need to approach applying this to your swimming pool all condensed in a very short period of time. So that should be a good resource to get you started there. Uh, look into picking yourself up a test kit for at-home testing or find a local water lab who can help you with some free pool water testing. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.